and welcome to We Dubai. In this video, I'm going to walk you through seven the most difficult Polish words to pronounce and I'll teach you how to pronounce them and what the, do they mean. This video, I decided to be outside because it's so beautiful. It's my first winter here in Florida and I'm just amazed at the fact that there's no snow. At the same time, I do miss the mountains and I really, really want to go skiing. The girl likes to ski, so I'm hoping to go for a winter trip to Poland so that way I can go into the mountains. So I'm doing all this series to prep Adam to learn Polish with me. So let's get started. The first word is szczęście. And szczęście means happiness. For example, my baby is my happiness. Moje dziecko jest moim szczęściem. Szczęście, happiness. Szczęście. Now repeat after me. Szczęście. Now the word number two is drożdżówka, which means a bun. Drożdżówka. Uh, drożdżówka is a bun that's made with yeast. So there's a, a lot of times you can see drożdżówka with strawberries, with jam, or with Nutella. And drożdżówka is usually what you make on a Sunday night, whatever you have, you know, harvest days, and you make some jam, you make some drożdżówka for the kids, and they drink it with milk. So repeat after me. Drożdżówka. Drożdżówka. And for example, my mom made some drożdżówki uh, last night with blueberries. Moja mama zrobiła drożdżówki po tym, jak poszliśmy na jagody. That's a popular one. My mom would always make the blueberry drożdżówka and they were chef's kisses delicious. Number three, ołówek. Ołówek. Ołówek means pencil. So, gdzie jest mój ołówek? Means, where is my pencil? Gdzie jest mój ołówek? Where is my pencil? Ołówek. What's hard about ołówek is that in Polish there's two times, types of U. There's the open U and there's the U that's an O with the top. And um, whichever one, and there's rules which one is being used. But ołówek has the other type. So repeat after me, ołówek. Word number three. Pszczoła. Pszczoła. Pszczoła means a bee. Pszczoła. Pszczoła. There was a bee outside of my house yesterday. Była, f była pszczoła przed moim domem wczoraj. Ul means beehive. Ul means beehive. Word number five is świerszcz. Świerszcz, which means cricket. Świerszcz. And there's a saying that's really difficult to pronounce. Um, which means which is a, a city which means cricket which means give sound means in the in the grass so now repeat after me that was a tough one. That was, that's one of the tougher sayings in Polish. Now number six. And means calm, like a cuticle of glass. There was a of grass in my hair. There was a Palm of grass in my hair. Były źdźbła siana w moich włosach. And siano means um, just old grass, the one that the sheep sleep on, right? Now, the last saying that I wanted to walk you through means bułka z masłem, which bułka is a bun, z means with, and masłem means butter. So it means that's something that's really easy, like butter and on a bun. So repeat after me. Bułka z masłem. So for example, the way you'd use this is when your mom asks you to clean your room or do your homework. So then you're gonna say, 
Bukas Maso means you got it, you're gonna do it, and it's easy. Now repeat after me. Buka z maswem. Buka z maswem. And the last word is the word if you have a Polish girlfriend or you know anybody that's Polish, you'll use that one. And it's called księżniczka, which means a princess. So for example, the princess didn't want to wake up today. Księżniczka nie chciała wstać z łóżka dzisiaj. Księżniczka means princess. Nie chciała, nie means no, chciała means want, so didn't want, wstać means wake up, z means from, łóżka means bed, dzisiaj means today. Księżniczka nie chciała wstać dzisiaj z łóżka. The princess didn't want to wake up from bed today. Księżniczka. 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 Now repeat after me. Księżniczka. All right, I hope you guys loved the seven different difficult words in Polish. I know you guys rocked it. Please click the like, subscri subscribe button and comment down below which word did you find the most difficult and which word did you find the easiest. Thank you so much for watching. I really love you guys and I appreciate each one of you. Thank you.